नमस्कार माय नेम इज ऋषिकेश सेनापति आई एम प्रोफेसर ऑफ एजुकेशन आई हैव सर्व एज प्रिंसिपल इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशन एनसीईआरटी भोपाल एंड आल्सो डायरेक्टर एनसीईआरटी न्यू दिल्ली आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम आई एम थैंकफुल टू इग्नो फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टुडे डिस्कशन इज on teacher education and teacher educators i am very happy that i am going to present my views on this topic which is very important for the implementation of national education policy 2020 all of us know now we are in the process of implementing nep 2020 in this context teachers are going to play very significant role only through teachers we can implement this policy we can really bring about change in our classroom process only through teachers that is that is why we should know what is happening in our country what is our teacher education what type of teacher education program we are having and what type of teacher educators we need to implement this policy in our classroom particularly at the grassroots level because no because uh, this policy is uh, going to be implemented by teachers and teacher educators are going to play very significant role because teacher educators are preparing teachers and teachers are going to implement this policy in the classroom so far as the school education is concerned and when we are talking of this teacher education we should not see teacher education in isolation and we have to see teacher education in the context of school education in the context of higher education because interlinked and what is happening in school education that is being reflected in teacher education if there is change in school education definitely there will be corresponding change in teacher education program and after this policy now we are going we are going to up this 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure of school education earlier we had 10 plus 2 pattern of school education now we have three more years 15 years of schooling earlier it was 12 years now it is 15 years and during this 15 years we have to take care of all categories of the learners starting from pre school to secondary higher secondary now of course it is not higher secondary it is secondary and in view of the structure when we are going to prepare teachers we have to bring about a change in our teacher education program what policy has recommended if we go through it seriously definitely we have to bring about a change we need a revolution in the field of teacher education why i say so because now we are talking of paradigm shift in learning and what policy has recommended policy has recommended experiential learning art integrated learning a sport integrated learning Uh, ICT integrated learning, story based pedagogy, so many things. So so far as the pedagogy is concerned, but if we look at the vision of the policy, that is most important. We should start from the vision. When we are talking about the vision of the policy, the focus of this policy is an Indian ethos, Indian culture, Indian tradition, Indian value system. That means our children should be connected to their roots. they should understand our culture they should they should understand our, our tradition value system and also the language because that is going to be going to play a very significant role that is why policy is putting a lot of emphasis on this multilingualism and when we are talking of this indian culture indian ethos it is not that only our children will be knowing about the indian culture and they will be limited to that uh, only indian knowledge system this policy is also talking about global citizenship that means they will be connected to their roots and they will also know what is happening 
outside the country because uh, now in 21st century we all are interconnected and there is no geographical distance that is why our children should understand what is happening in other countries of course that is our culture because all the time we say vasudeva kutumbakam whole world is one family so we are trying to connect our children to their roots and also we are helping them to understand what is happening in other countries by promoting this global citizenship and along with this what this policy expect we should create a very vibrant equitable society knowledge society where all categories of learners will get the opportunity to learn children who are coming from tribal area children who are coming from rural area children who are coming from slum deprived section they should get the right type of education so that we can have a very equitable vibrant knowledge society that is our concern if that is our concern then to prepare that type of system we need skills and competencies among the teachers who can take care of all categories of learners it may be the bank may be gifted and may be the deprived section so all children should be and so if you see the vision of this policy policy is putting lot of emphasis on fundamental duties and constitutional values what we are doing now all the time our focus is on cognitive domain we expect our children should have a mastery over the content what is there in the text and they are acquiring mastery over the competency and securing good mark in exam but that is not going to serve the purpose what we expect we expect they should develop the basic competencies they should understand their duties and responsibilities they should understand the constitutional values that is more important because uh, in our society now we are facing a lot of problem there is crime in our society there is depression there is suicide so many things are there so many social issues are there if we will not strengthen this up if we will not make conscious of our children of their duties and responsibilities then it will be very difficult for us and our children cannot become good citizen of this country they cannot become good human being ultimately what we want we want they should acquire mastery they should develop the competencies they should acquire the skills and ultimately they should become good citizen of this country and good human being if that is the purpose of education then what type of school environment we should create so that our children will get opportunity not only to acquire mastery over the content but also to develop the feelings to develop their their affective domain they they can develop the hello feeling belongingness cooperation collaboration so all these uh, good socio personal qualities should develop among the students that is most important because that is neglected that as we say education is for all on development but that aspect is neglected practically parents are putting lot of emphasis on the this marks teachers are also putting emphasis how their students will secure good mark and we all expect that our children should acquire mastery and secure good mark in exam but that is not going to serve the purpose that is why now time has come we should understand what is required in 21st century and how we should students and to prepare our students in that direction we need good teachers that is why we are putting lot of emphasis on this teacher education program and what is happening in school education what are the changes we are expecting in school education particularly in the field of curriculum pedagogy and assessment that should be thoroughly reflected in teacher education program because as per this policy what do we expect we expect competency based 
curriculum. And we expect competency-based examination because now we are in 21st century. We expect our children to develop their problem-solving ability. They should develop their critical thinking. They should develop their communication skills. They should develop their creativity. And they should be in a position to solve the problem in a very creative and innovative way. So that they can face the challenge in 21st century, they can convert challenges into opportunities if they will develop these basic skills and competences. And along with that, they will also understand Indian culture, Indian tradition, Indian value system. So that their affective domain will be strengthened because we believe in Vasudeva Kutumbakam. The whole world is one family and we respect each other and we believe in fellow feeling, cooperation, collaboration. So that, is, that is our culture. So that should be integrated in our teacher education program. So from that point of view, what do we expect when we are going to design curriculum for this? Because now this national curriculum framework uh, is in the process. And after that, we'll come out with the new textbooks, new syllabus. And there, we expect some changes that mean particularly keeping in view the structure. When we are talking about the structure that five plus three plus three plus four structure. And in this structure, we, we, have, we, we need a different type of teachers because when we're talking of this foundation stage, we have to, oh, now we need different type of teacher because the preschool has been integrated with the class one and two. And our focus is on holistic development. And we, we, have to, we want to strengthen their social personal qualities. And for keeping in view that we have to prepare teachers. And uh, the, the pedagogical, we expect also some uh, paradigm shift in our teaching learning process. That means it should be more participatory, children should play. We should not extend class one to preschool. So the, it should be stage appropriate, it should be age appropriate, and accordingly, we should design our curriculum and uh, keeping in view the curriculum, we should also develop our teacher education program so that teacher can acquire basic skills and competencies and they can cope with the system, they can really implement this NEP 2020 at the foundation stage. Because in foundation stage, our focus is on development of the basic skills in literacy and numeracy. And we all know that uh, what problem we are facing in our country, because uh, uh, many, many times it comes in newspaper and NCIT has also conducted this survey. And we are not satisfied with the result. We all know that when the competency level in 17, we conducted this competency-based uh, national achievement survey and performance is not satisfactory and class three average score is around 60, class uh, five, it is decreasing around 50 when they're going to class eight, still it is decreasing. That means uh, there is some gap what we expect and what our students are learning. Because particularly when we are talking about the competency in the exam, board exam, they may seek for 100 out of 100, but they uh, are not acquiring the basic competencies of what they need in 21st century. That is why we, we have to be very careful while preparing the teacher. Similarly, when we are talking of this vocational education, because in uh, that is that is the focus of this policy, because India is going to be the youngest country in the world. We, the number of youth and we should develop their skills and competencies and we are going to introduce vocational education from class six onwards and in the current scenario in it is they are in class nine and uh, ten and when we are going to introduce from class six onwards we expect that our children should be oriented about the different vocations what is available locally and they should visit a uh, local uh, surrounding they interact with the local people and uh, local experts also should visit to uh, school and th there will be no separate stream of vocational education vocational education will be an integral part of teacher education uh, so general education so keeping in view this scenario we need teachers, that means who will understand this, uh, the purpose of this vocational education. It is not only the, we want to introduce just to develop the skills and competency, we want to promote dignity of labor. And that our teachers should understand and that should be integrated in teacher education program. So that is, that, that is why now we, we should take care of this aspect also in our teacher education program so that we can really integrate vocational education into general education. Because now you know in NAP 2020, it is also there. Because in India, as per the data, around 5% of students coming through formal vocational education 
whereas in uh, south korea it is around 95 96% you see the gap and uh, we have vocational education uh, in class 9 10 11 12 we are teaching around 1000 hours um, the, that means for the skill level that is not adequate in other countries it is more so that is why when developing this curriculum we have to take care of that and accordingly we have to bring about corresponding change in our teacher education program so that we can take care of this vocational education similarly when our children will go to the secondary stage in secondary stage uh, now we are going to have a lot of flexibility because uh, so far as the fundamental uh, guiding principles of policies are concerned we are talking of a uh, lot of flexibility separation with uh, no hard separation between vocational education and uh, general education no hard separation between curricular co-curricular and uh, extracurricular activities and no hard separation between art science commerce like this the students that means uh, what we expect we expect a student can select subject of their choice that that is that is the most important thing now we actually in theory we are talking of multiple intelligence but uh, in practice so what we are doing in our uh, school system what we are doing all the time we are trying to find out uh, what our children do not know that that is called deficit model we believe in deficit model and we try to find out what they do not know but uh, the uh, what modern theory suggests modern theory suggests that we should believe in strength model not in deficit model what our children can do, what they can contribute. And uh, keeping in view that, that uh, now we, we, we are going to introduce uh, flexibility in our curriculum. Student can select subject of their choice. That is the strength because uh, let them, let the, let, let let, uh, let them learn as per their choice, as per their interest, as per their ability. That, that is because uh, everybody is not having the, the same type of intelligence. Some are good in logical, mathematical intelligence. Some are good in uh, uh, musical intelligence, kinesthetic intelligence, and uh, intrapersonal intelligence, so, etc. So that is why we should provide them equal opportunity. We should provide them right. Uh, to, to uh, um, uh, select their uh, some, uh, subject, subject of their choice, that is most important. Because uh, without that, what we are doing, we are uh, asking children to learn a particular for which they have no interest. So now this policy, uh, we're fortunate that policy has taken care of that. And uh, the policy has recommended that we should take care of um, the, our children and uh, we should give them option and let them uh, select subject of their choice. They can select subject of their choice and they can learn com comfortably and uh, they can excel in their own area. Uh, the, the, and uh, now we are going beyond this um, textbook because though in five uh, recommended that we should go beyond textbook go beyond classroom and now we, we in policy has highlighted that and we are going to implement uh, all these in our classroom so we have a lot of flexibility no hard separation and language because we are going to introduce uh, the this multilingualism particularly the children who are coming from the tribal area their mother tongue is different and uh, we are preparing textbooks uh, in um, uh, state language and regional language and they are not getting opportunity to learn effectively. That is why when they will get opportunity to learn through their mother tongue, the textbook will be available in their mother tongue and uh, local uh, history, local geography, uh, the, their own language, culture will be integrated into the textbook. Definitely, there will be change in the teaching learning process. And our teachers should understand that it has a very significant implication for teachers. The teachers should know the local language. So while selecting teachers, uh, um, we should take care of that. They should know language. That is, that is another recommendation of the policy also. So that the keeping in view all these, we, we, we should prepare our teacher education program. So, so that there will be perfect matching between the changes what the policy has recommended and that's uh, accordingly that should be corresponding change in the teacher education program that that is that is the, that is the most important thing that we should do number two when we're talking of the pedagogy this is about the curriculum this is when you're talking of the pedagogy what policy expects policy expects that should be experiential learning uh, why we're talking of experience and let children have experience that they let them be exposed to a variety of experiences so that they can learn effectively. We all know, we all know that uh, if there is more experience, if there is better social interaction, then there is a better learning. And uh, that is why what policy has recommended, policy has recommended that should be art integrated learning, 
our local art our culture uh, should be integrated and uh, with the teaching learning so that learning will be uh, more joyful and student will not drop out school because we have already conducted experiment on this art integrated learning in some blocks and it is found that once it is introduced children uh, till they don't leave school and uh, they enjoy learning and learning becomes more meaningful and uh, not only we can uh, teach them through art and culture make the it learning joyful oh, along with that we can preserve our art we can preserve our culture so that is the some that the policy has recommended and that should be also reflected in teacher education program when we are preparing teacher we should not ask them just to deliver so 40 lessons or 60 lessons along with that they should they, they should do create conducive learning environment keeping in view the recommendation of the policy particularly the uh, point of view pedagogy when we are talking about the art integrated learning that should be an integral part of teacher education program similarly we are talking of the sport integrated learning but policy has recommended that uh, we are to, now putting lot of emphasis on physical education um, okay, physical development uh, games and sports now all because of olympic now we all are highly motivated and uh, now that should be also an integral part of the teaching learning process and while playing student can learn so that means that we we should be very uh, competent our teachers should be very competent to implement this in uh, in the in, uh, in the school environment in, in schools so that is that that is most important another is ict integrated learning because we all know that uh, when we are preparing uh, the teacher education program so that the teacher education program uh, we are of course um, now we are trying to integrate ict but uh, if you look at the school in our school though it is being integrated slowly but uh, teachers are not oriented about how to use ict as a tool uh, because most of the uh, people think that uh, by integrating ict means putting the uh, text material in printed form that means transacting not only for transmission and let students use uh, different ict tools to learn so that they can uh, have better quality it may be through social network services, it may be through blog. So that I see the integration that uh, our teachers should be familiar with that so that uh, it can be an integral part of the teacher education program. Uh, similarly, a storytelling based pedagogy, what the policy has recommended, we all know that is uh, we, everybody is fond of listening story and that, that should be also an integral part of teacher education program. That means uh, whatever policy has recommended um, uh, for school education, that should be reflected in teacher education program and that should be a perfect linkage between school education and teacher education so that uh, we can really implement this policy in two sense. And another thing that uh, who, who are going to implement this program in, uh, in teacher education institutions, now we have teacher educators. And uh, teacher educators uh, have been oriented long back. And they, they, they have to also refresh their knowledge. They have to develop their skills and competencies, keeping in view the recommendation of NEP 2020, keeping in view the requirement of 21st century, because we are going to prepare teachers who can implement this policy very effectively at the grassroots level. So to prepare teachers, we should have good uh, teacher educators, competent teacher educators who, who knows the pedagogy, who know the content, who know the technology. And because now we are talking of three things, that content, pedagogy, and technology. Only content mastery is purpose. Only pedagogy mastery is not going to serve the purpose. And only technology mastery is not going to serve the purpose. And now we should understand the interrelationship between content and pedagogy and we should have pedagogical content knowledge. And we should also have about the technology and in the context of content and pedagogy. And understand if our teacher educators can understand the interrelationship between content and technology and create a very conducive learning environment in teacher education institutions then definitely we can implement this, this policy first in our teacher education institute because we are prepared, going to prepare uh, teachers. If we can prepare good teachers, definitely they can uh, implement this policy in the classroom. So teacher educators are playing, going to play very significant role. We should be very careful when we're preparing teacher education uh, program with that should not be any compromise. So keeping in view all these, what we expect now, we expect uh, uh, a plan, a thorough plan for implementation of this policy 
we say, uh, particularly in uh, our teacher education uh, program. So, and uh, how we should uh, take care of preparing good teacher educators along with uh, good teachers, not only, uh, only the uh, pre service teachers, in service teacher, keeping in view the recommendation of policy, I, I remember we, uh, when the draft policy came immediately. Um, one pilot in Tripura, we conducted because uh, keeping in view the need of the teacher. And uh, we, after conducting that pilot study, we learned that NISTA program, uh, that, that is the national initiative uh, for school heads and teachers for holistic advancement. And we, we implemented that in all the states, a very popular program, because uh, there what we get, uh, took into account um, the, the uh, recommendation of the policy, and there uh, we have put a lot of emphasis on development of socio-personal qualities, uh, leadership, and other recommendation of the policy. So that is that is the uh, at that time uh, the draft policy was released and keeping up, and it was a very successful program. Now um, ministry is implementing this program uh, uh, for secondary teachers and for uh, other teachers also they're planning. So this is that 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 is why now time has come. We should understand. What is the implication of it? It is not only the recommendation that is going to play very, and what is the implication of these recommendations and how it can be implemented? That is most important uh, for teacher educators, for uh, uh, policy makers, and also for educational administrators. So uh, by doing that, definitely we can bring about the change and, uh, and uh, we have to prepare our students for 21st century because we do not know what type of job will be available in future because of this fourth industrial revolution. So uh, we at least we should be in a position to develop the basic skills and competencies among the students that may be life skills and what, what uh, the 21st century expects so that they can adjust with any situation, they can face any challenge and they can convert all the challenges into opportunity. That is our expectation. So I hope uh, uh, this uh, my presentation will be useful and uh, I'm very happy to be a part of this program. Uh, thank you very much.